What is the primary purpose of a security policy within an organization's governance framework? Is it A, to out outline the organization's business goals and objectives? Is it B, to define the roles and responsibilities for the IT department? Is it C, to establish guidelines and rules for protecting information assets and reducing security risks? Or is it D, to allocate budget resources for IT projects? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to establish guidelines and rules for protecting information assets and reducing security risks. Security policies define rules and practices to safeguard data and assets, reducing security risks. And for the incorrect answers to outline the organization's business goals and objectives, this is typically covered in a business plan, not a security policy. To define the roles and responsibilities of the IT department, this relates to a job descriptions and organizational charts, not security policies, and to allocate budget resources for IT projects. Budget allocation is usually part of financial financial planning, not a security policy. And for the next question, for example, question number two. And the question states, in the context of GRC, what is the primary goal of risk assessment? Is it A, to eliminate all potential risks? Is it B, to identify and evaluate potential threats and vulnerabilities? Is it C, to implement security controls without considering potential risks? Or is it D, to allocate financial resources for cybersecurity? And now five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to identify and evaluate potential threats and vulnerabilities. Risk assessments involve identifying and assessing potential risks to determine their impact and likelihood. And for the incorrect answers to eliminate all potential risks, eliminating all risks is typically impractical and costly. To implement security controls without considering potential risk, this would be an ineffective approach to security. And to allocate financial resources for cybersecurity, budget allocation is not the primary goal of risk assessment. And for the next question of exam, question number three. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of compliance audits in the context of GRC? Is it A, to identify and mitigate security risks? Is it B, to evaluate the organization's adherence to regulatory requirements and internal policies? Is it C, to perform penetration tests to identify vulnerabilities? Or is it D, to secure network communications? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to evaluate the organization's adherence to regulatory requirements and internal policies. Compl uh, compliance audits assess whether the organization compliance complies with external regulations and internal policies. And for the incorrect answers to identify and mitigate security risks, compliance audits focus on ad adherence to rules rather than risk mitigation. To perform penetration tests to identify vulnerabilities, this is not the primary purpose of compliance audits. And to secure network communications, network security is a different aspect of cybersecurity. And for the next question, for example, question number four. And the question states, what is the primary goal of data classification process within an organization's GRC framework? Is it A, to delete all unnecessary data? Is it B, to categorize data based on its sensitivity and importance? Is it C, to encrypt all data? Or is it D, to centralize data storage? Now, five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to categorize data based on its sensitivity and importance. Data classification helps identify and label data accordingly, according to its level of sensitivity, aiding in data protection and access control. And for the incorrect answers to delete all unnecessary data, data classification doesn't mandate deleting data, but rather managing it effect effectively. To encrypt all data, encryption is a separate security measure. And to centralize data storage, data classification doesn't determine storage location. And for the next question of exam, question number five. And the question states, in GRC, what is the primary purpose of a business impact analysis, or BIA? Is it A, to evaluate the financial impact of cybersecurity breach? Is it B, to assess the impact of disruption to business operations and prioritize recovery efforts? Is it C, to perform vulnerability assessments? Or is it D, to calculate the return on investment, or ROI, for security measures? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to assess the impact of a disruption to business operations and prioritize recovery efforts. A BIA identifies critical processes, their dependencies, and how their disruption impacts the organization. And for the incorrect answers to evaluate the financial impact of cybersecurity breach, this is part of the BIA, but not its primary purpose, to perform vulnerability assessments. Vulnerability assessments are distinct from BIAs. And to calculate the return on investment, or ROI for security measures, ROI calculations focus on cost effectiveness, not BIA.
And for the next question of the exam, question number six. And the question states, what is the primary goal of a security awareness training as part of an organization's GRC program? Is it A, to develop advanced technical skills among employees? Is it B, to educate employees about cybersecurity risks and best practices? Is it C, to enforce strict access control policies? Or is it D, to secure physical access to facilities? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to educate employees about cybersecurity risks and best practices. Security awareness training aims to make employees aware of cybersecurity risks and educate them on how to mitigate them. And for the incorrect answers to develop advanced technical skills among, amongst employees, this is not the primary goal of security awareness tra training. To enforce strict access control policies, access control policies are separate from awareness training. And to secure physical access to facilities, physical security is a different aspect of GRC. And for the next question of our exam, question number seven. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a security incident response plan within an organization's GRC framework? Is it A, to prevent all security incidents from occurring? Is it B, to define the roles and responsibilities of the HR department? Is it C, to provide guidance on how to respond to and recover from security incidents? Or is it D, to allocate budget resources for, for cybersecurity? And I have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to provide guidance on how to respond to and recover from security incidents. Incident response plans outline procedures for handling security incidents effectively. And for the incorrect answers to prevent all security incidents from occurring, prevention is a different call. Incident response focuses on post-incident actions. To define the roles and responsibilities of the HR department, HR responsibilities are separate from incident response planning. And to allocate budget resources for cybersecurity, budget allocation is not the primary goal of incident response planning. And for the next question of our exam, question number eight. And the question states, what is the primary objective of security baselines in the context of GRC? Is it A, to set minimum require security requirements for all systems and devices? Is it B, to establish data retention policies? Is it C, to create deta detailed network diagrams? Or is it D, to centralize authentication services? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is A, to set minimum security requirements for all systems and devices. Security baselines define the minimum security configurations expected on systems and devices. And for the incorrect answer, to establish data retention policies, data retention is a separate policy. To create detailed network diagrams, network diagrams serve a different purpose. And to centralize authentication services, authentication services are not the primary focus of security baselines. And for the next question of our exam, question number nine. And the question states, in GRC, what is the primary purpose of vendor risk management? Is it A, to outsource all IT operations to third-party vendors? Is it B, to assess and mitigate the cybersecurity risk associated with third-party vendors? Is it C, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access? Or is it D, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? And have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to assess and mitigate the cybersecurity risk associated with third-party vendors. Vendor risk management focuses on evaluating and addressing cybersecurity risks introduced by third-party vendors. And for the incorrect answers to outsource all IT operations to third-party vendors, vendor risk management is not about outsourcing all IT operations. Uh, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access, VPNs are unrelated to ver uh, vendor risk management. And to encrypt sensitive data during transmission, encryption is a separate security measure. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a business continuity plan or BCP in GRC? Is it A, to prevent all business disruptions? Is it B, to ensure that all employees have remote access to company resources? Is it C, to define strategies for maintaining essential business operations during and after disasters? Or is it D, to allocate budget for IT infrastructure? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to define strategies for maintaining essential business operations during and after disasters. A BCP outlines procedures to keep critical business functions running during and after disasters. And for the incorrect answers to prevent all business dis disruptions, prevention is not always possible. BCP focuses on continuity uh, to prevent, to ensure that all employees have remote access to company resources. Remote access is not the primary goal of the BCP and to allocate budget resources for IT infrastructure. Budget allocation is separate from BCP objectives. 
Ladies and gents, if you'd like to further support this channel, make sure to check my Udemy Instructor channel where I've posted a number of CompTIA exams. The exams consist of 270 questions each and are presented in greater detail. The link for my Udemy Instructor channel is presented in the description of this video. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. I hope you found this video informative and I will see you guys next time. Peace!